14 centuries ago, God sent down to humanity the Quran as a book of guidance. He called upon people to be guided to the truth by adhering to this book. Since the day of its revelation to the day of resurrection, this last divine book will remain the sole guide for humanity. The matchless style of the Quran and the superior wisdom in it are definite evidence that it is the word of God. In addition, the Quran has many miraculous attributes proving that it is a revelation from God. One of these attributes is the fact that a number of scientific truths that we have only been able to uncover by the technology of the 20th century were stated in the Quran 1,400 years ago. Of course, the Quran is not a book of science. However, many scientific facts that are expressed in an extremely concise and profound manner in its verses have only been discovered with the technology of the 20th century. These facts could not have been known at the time of the Quran's revelation and this is still more proof that the Quran is the word of God. In order to understand the scientific miracle of the Quran, we must first take a look at the level of science at the time when this holy book was revealed. In the 7th century, when the Quran was revealed, Arab society had many superstitious and groundless beliefs where scientific issues were concerned. Lacking the technology to examine the universe and nature, these early Arabs believed in legends inherited from past generations. They supposed, for example, that mountains supported the sky above. They believed that the world was flat and that there were high mountains at both its ends. It was thought that these mountains were pillars that kept the vault of heaven high above. However, all these superstitious beliefs of Arab society were eliminated with the Quran. The verse, God is he who raised up the heavens without any support, for example, invalidated the belief that the sky remains above because of the mountains. In many other subjects, important facts were revealed at a time when no one could have known them. The Quran, which was revealed at a time when people knew very little about astronomy, physics or biology, contains key facts on a variety of subjects such as the creation of the universe, the creation of the human being, the structure of the atmosphere and the delicate balances that make life on earth possible. Let us now take a look at some of the scientific truths revealed in the Quran. The origin of the universe is described in the Quran in the following verse. He is the originator of the heavens and the earth. This information given in the Quran is in full agreement with the findings of contemporary science. The conclusion that astrophysics has reached today is that the entire universe, together with the dimensions of matter and time, came into existence 
as a result of a great explosion that occurred in no time. This event, known as the Big Bang, produced the entire universe about 15 billion years ago, creating it from nothingness as a result of the explosion of a single point. Modern scientific circles are in agreement that the Big Bang is the only rational and provable explanation of the beginning of the universe and of how the universe came into being. Before the Big Bang, there was no such thing as matter. From a condition of non-existence in which neither matter nor energy nor even time existed and which can only be defined metaphysically, matter, energy and time were all created. This fact, only recently discovered by modern physics, was announced to us in the Quran 1,400 years ago. In the Quran, which was revealed 14 centuries ago, at a time when the science of astronomy was still primitive, the expansion of the universe was described like this. And it is we who have constructed the heaven with might, and verily it is we who are steadily expanding it. The word heaven, as stated in this verse, is used in various places in the Quran with the meaning of space and universe. Here again, the word is used with this meaning. In other words, in the Quran, it is communicated that the universe expands. And this is the very conclusion that science has reached today. Until the dawn of the 20th century, the only view prevailing in the world of science was that the universe has a constant nature and it has existed since infinite time. The research, observations and calculations carried out by means of modern technology, however, revealed that the universe in fact had a beginning and that it constantly expands. At the beginning of the 20th century, the Russian physicist Alexander Friedman and the Belgian cosmologist Georges Lemaitre theoretically calculated that the universe is in constant motion and that it is expanding. This fact was proved also by observational data in 1929. While observing the sky with a telescope, Edwin Hubble, the American astronomer, discovered that the stars and galaxies were constantly moving away from each other. A universe where everything constantly moves away from each other implied a constantly expanding universe. The observations carried out in the following years verified that the universe constantly expands. This fact was explained in the Quran when it was yet unknown by anyone. This is because the Qur'an is the word of God, the creator, and the ruler of the entire universe. <laughs>